Tonight, a family is making a desperate plea for a hit and run driver to turn themselves in. Their loved one was badly hurt and their two dogs killed. It's now been nearly a month since that crash and the family says they still have very little information to go on. It happened back on December 30th at West Florida Avenue and South Xavier Street. That's just off of Sheridan. Joe Gonzalez was crossing the street with his dogs when police say a motorbike hit them. Your reporter Mike Labeda is live near that intersection tonight. So Michael, how is Mr. Gonzalez and his family holding up right now? Well, you know, Kelly, a once healthy man in his 60s is now in physical rehabilitation, all thanks to that hit and run driver. This incident was, has been one of the hardest things to really uh, grasp. Joe Gonzalez's dogs, Cupcake and Cutie Pie, were family to him. He is so bougie with his dog food, so he like makes his own dog food. And he walked them every single day. And my dad, because he's such an avid walker and very mindful about his food, he was also very healthy. But on the evening of December 30th, that routine came to a tragic end. He was walking Cupcake and Cutie Pie near West Florida Avenue near South Xavier Street when some sort of motorbike hit them. There are skid marks on the road. The driver took off and still hasn't been found. Cupcake and Cutie Pie were killed and Joe was seriously injured. When the ambulance came, his bones on his right leg were protruding outside of his body. He had multiple ruptured tendons in his left leg, internal bleeding, and then severely inf um, inflamed lungs and um, a lot of really awful road rash and bruises from his hips down. His daughter says he will never be the same. He doesn't have the strength or ability to simply lift his legs from the bed to dangle off the bed. Monique just wants him to get better and for police to find the person who did this to her father. I think that our behavior and our choices after those really scary moments is what creates the definition of who we are and who we become. So for the person who did this, if they happen to see the media coverage, I, I ask that they find the courage to speak up and, and to, to rectify this. Monique says if you know anything about this case, to call Metro Denver Crime Stoppers, there is a reward and you can rename, remain anonymous. In Denver, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado first.